I always liked Portsmouth, but never really saw myself living here. And then I actually sat upstairs in this restaurant when it was uh, the previous restaurant called Lindbergh's Crossing. And while we were sitting eating rabbit in the window of the restaurant I now own, my wife and I decided to move to Portsmouth and I applied for a job the next day in this restaurant. I was the executive chef here for four years and uh, bought the restaurant from the owners in 2007. Renamed it Black Trumpet after my favorite foraged mushroom and um, the rest is history. Eight years we've been around now, almost to the day. At the outset of what is now considered the local food movement or the locavore movement, um, I was a, an idiot savant. I knew it was the right thing, I knew it was a good idea, but I would never have called myself one of the foremost pioneers of that idea. When I started asking our purveyors, you know, where the meat came from, the first answer was, we have no idea, you know, and imagine that today, like, no one would ever say that, because <laughs> no chef would tolerate that answer. Um, so, at that time, yeah, I didn't tolerate the answer, and I kept digging, and I would say, well, if you can't tell me where the meat comes from, then I don't want it. Through whole animal utilization, just by buying these animals, you know, in their entirety, we're making a commitment to zero waste. We're using every bit, nose to tail is the expression that people use, but like literally every aspect of that animal and everything that it lived for to make our food is going to be enjoyed by our guests. 40% of the crops that we grow are wasted. Uh, they're never eaten by anyone. We have people who are uh, hungry. We have people who are food insecure have dietary issues, obesity problems, and they have no access to local food, yet local food is being thrown away. There's a major disconnect, there's a broken food system, and in order to fix it, uh, we're gonna need everyone on board. Um, we've gotta feed everybody on the earth. Um, we have a dramatically changing climate. We have um, the disappearance of wild food stocks, uh, questionable farming practices that are rampant. Um, inputs into our food system that are completely unnatural, that are killing us, and all of these things, um, you know, those, those are all very significant problems that have to be addressed. The more you look into it, the harder it is to ignore that there's a, a, a crisis at hand, and uh, I've always been a big fan of revolution, and I think, uh, I think we're in for one. Cooking is a wholesome, act that uh, congregates, it brings people together. It's not a divisive or a competitive thing. By nature, uh, it is an inclusive act. It is the ultimate inclusive act.